Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode. Uh, so we've just logged in. I accidentally uh, didn't hit record when I started collecting the freebie stuff from starting a, um, a new day. So just to recap what I've literally just done in the last two minutes is when I've, the first thing I do every time I log into uh, the game after some time, like the next day or some time off, I make sure the fortune cat or the adverts have been watched. So this is fully achieved at times three. Then I go to the shop, uh, collect my wooden chest, which I just did and then watch the advert to get the freebie at the bottom corner. So that's basically what I just did in the last two minutes. Don't know why I didn't press record, you know, pro YouTuber here, pro YouTuber. Uh, then I just make sure I go to my milestone to see what kind of quest he's doing for this day, for this run. So I need to transcend four times to get that and use ultimate 50 times, fantastic. And then I just collect all my pets, which I just did earlier. And these are the two new ones that I've got. Yeah, and just to make sure all my heroes are leveled up. I always switch this on to max, just because it saves time having to fill them up. You don't have to, it's just my preference. Uh, so which ones are going to level up next? I want to do auto attack enemies, stun chance, I want to do orb increase. What have we got? Orb increase. I think I'm going to do all the orb increase spawn. When I'm at it, I'll give this person a rune because he's missing one. And talk about runes and see if there's any needs merging. Uh, they, they're both equipped. So if they're equipped with one, don't bother because if you merge it now, the person with the equipped one will have one less rune to use. So only merge them if they're not being used by someone or something. There's a new one there. Is there any couple ones I can merge? Not really. Okay. And I think we need that. Right, so back to the back to the grind, back to the grind. I've got some masks which I'll up um, unload in a sec. Just need to kill the boss so I can go to the next bit. Right, so at the moment I'm looking to get to just level up a bit more. If I get to 115 in this run, it'd be amazing to get the special relic. Now I have been um looking inside uh, the official Masketeers Discord about how you guys are playing the game, how you're loving it. It's been quite getting quite good traction, which is really good. This is, this is a really fun game. So I love seeing you guys doing posts, say, oh yeah, you reached stage 200, stage 300, and smashing it. Uh, the stage cap for this at the moment is only at 4,000, so it's, it seems low, relatively low, but it will still take some time to get there. Um, I think the average person on the pre-alpha took a couple weeks, maybe a month or so, to get to stage stage 1000 so 4000 doesn't seem much but it's still still got i reckon that'd be a couple months to get that and uh, i hope this let's play series helps you if you've got any questions knowing what to do i'm trying to do step by step guide showing you how i uh, go to the next milestones and how i reach the end cap so talking about end, uh, next milestone we reach stage 90 so we've got some runes bang bang awesome let's see if we can merge any So you can keep that one equipped, merge these two. It's fine. But not these ones because they're unequipped. They got any spare ones? Spare diamond one there, spare square one there. No, not really. All, all being used. Okay, that's it for that one then. Another boss one. So what I do is I try to I do try to let the well I do a couple special attacks because he's a boss, so it's just easy to clear him. But I do try to let the orbs fill up a little bit so they do chain attacks. In the moment I can do uh, four chain attacks at once. Uh, the reason I do this is just so that you, the more chain attacks you do, the more power you get and also more special orbs, uh, chances of special orbs you can get like this which will increase your wave attack opportunity, uh, ultimates and uh, guessing sparks and other goodies and stuff like that as well. So as you can see at the bottom I'm, I'm getting the individual ones out of the way so it's more opportunity for the link ones to link together like that that's just a more efficient way to play uh, let's look at these masks then um, ooh. test out these masks uh they all these seem to be higher but they don't have the bonus ability so i'm still going to keep the epic one just get rid of these because i want to be collecting as many dust as i can so i can get the uh legendary masks Let's get rid of all these. There we go, we've got wave attack to do a bit of smashing. 
So how much is my splash doing at the moment then? Two. Two. Which means I'm going quite slow. So it should really uh, transcend and do another push. When's my next max? Uh, it's 100. <clears throat> I think I'm going to wait to see if I can push to about 100 at least so I can get more Arcanus because that will help me get more relics and level up as well which will be a fantastic help because I'm still killing them quite smoothly. I might be, I might be right. I'm going to see if they're doing any damages to my uh, Masketeers to affect it. Boss, boss, let's get this out of the way. Maybe I don't, I don't think I can make it to 100 to be honest. Or oh, I think I'm going to transcend at 95. Let's do another run. Now, I'm going to transcend now. It's just taking too long. I've, I've gone past the Phantom bend, uh, Bandit, so that's absolutely fine. So I'm going to just transcend. And I always use my crystals to uh, also get you double double bubble. Because that's the best way to, to use your crystals. Because it's all about the Arcanas. You want to get as much of them as you can. So you can buy all, all the goodies. So I'm going to bring him back. Uh, I will put that, that, that. Nah, still getting it. I need to get these three characters. <clears throat> Let's use these tokens, see what goodies we can get. Oh, a okay, canis, nice. Only one, but still better than nothing. Got a couple of masks as well. We've got a charm in that one as well. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Yep, I'm sure not. Oh, I don't want to spend any money. Thanks for doing business. No worries. So now we've got all these goodies. We started a new one. Let's have a look then. So I've got enough for a new one. I'm going to get this scroll of embers because then I've already got two. So I'll get one more. That's a set, which gives me more a set bonus. See, look. Wisp cooldown is reduced by 30 minutes. Such so huge, huge gain. Half an hour saved from Wisps. And then with the rest remaining, I've got just reset to five. I've got, uh, let's have a look, this set bonus. There it is, set bonus. Woohoo! So that's why I chose that one. I'm going to save the rest of mine because, uh, actually, no. I'm going to get, I'm going to try to get a couple of these at level two. Red Rune stat, Bomb Frost stat chats, uh, Power Orb, Team Burn chance. I'm going to use this one. Just a couple of each. See if I can get all of these up to one level in the next run. So we've got Guardian there. Okay, what else we got? Look at these masks then. What masks we've got? Uh, it's a bit higher, but I still get rid of it. It's a bit lower. Oh, that's a lot higher. No, change mask. Change mask. That's the new one we got. So equip that. Thank you. That's good. And which one's got? That's, that's lower, so get rid of that. Thank you very much. I've got 178 now, but I'm saving that so I can get a legendary mask, which is 240. So we've got a bit to go before we can do that. So I'm stockpiling these. These uh, give you quite a lot of sparks, but you wait until, if you really want to, I, can't, I probably would stockpile them until uh, I get to like a really hard. Like really, so for example, if I'm a couple of stages, a um, couple of stages away from hitting a milestone, like a one one fourteen or one one thirteen or something, and I was, I was struggling a bit, I'll probably drop one to give me enough sparks just so I can power up some of my musketeers to get a little extra push. But to be honest, I didn't really when I was doing in the pre-alpha, I didn't really use charms that often. I uh, they, they did something called a um, roll roll road. I think it's kind of like a tournament. Where you got to click do as many orbs as you can with a time limit, and you're competing with other players. So I think it's called like a raw road battle thing, it's like a tournament thing. I, I'm, I think they will be introduced that. If not, they haven't. It hasn't started yet because I think it was like every couple of days, like twice a week. So I don't know if it is imp implemented because it's just come out, or if they're going to introduce it in an update. But it was a cool feature where you basically played against other people, and the person with the highest amount of orb point collection which they do it and this thing basically like widens up to like 10 rows long and you got to complete as many orbs as you can with, like within time limit and then the person with the total score gets rewards at the end of the tournament so that's quite a cool thing i kind of saved it for round back then because i was pushing a lot of time on those tournaments but uh yeah there's loads of updates coming i know that this game is still in early 
still early, so still loads of things to be add, change, develop, tweet. So what one feature I would love for these guys to add, for them to add to Musketeers, is the clan. So if you do clan and clan chat, so if you had a clan of Musketeers where you came together to do like a, a weekly raid of a boss wraith or something, like a boss wraith you had to defeat and you had to do a certain amount of attacks, but you had in-game chat, you can chat to people at the same time, that'd be awesome. So I think that's what makes a good good idle games, being able to chat with other people in game. So uh, hopefully they have that in the works. I would be very surprised if they didn't have like tons of features upcoming like that. So uh, yeah, I will so stop, stop you guys uh, for being bored watching me grind. I have to, I'm going to do a little uh, edit surprise and I'm going to grind up to back to 90. So I'll catch you in a moment. Okay, so we're nearly up to back to our previous max stage at 94, which is what we're on now. So what we're doing now is just pushing that a little bit further so we can uh, hit the next milestones, which is the uh, we want to get the arcanas. <clears throat> so 100 and 115 would be even better. So just so we've got the fortune cap fully activated again, which is always a good thing. So happy, happy, happy. Let me know in the comment below how you are allocating your skill points. Is there a certain style or way you put in score points in certain areas, a certain technique? I am looking talking to other people in the Masketeers uh, Discord just to see if there's like a skill build, like which skills to do first and if there's any difference. So at the moment it's just kind of like evenly spread between all different skills. I don't know if there's a specific better skill or no skill. It's still early, but uh, it'll be interesting to know what you guys think. If there's certain skills that you recommend over others, yeah, please share and leave a comment below. And we reached uh, the 100 milestone. So rewards is more Arcanas, which is great because we love the Arcanas. Now uh, it'd be really nice for you to get to your 115 stage for the another relic. Let's <coughs> do wave attack. It's only five waves, so it's not doing that much pushing at the moment. So yeah, special relic, arcane chime. Fifteen stages. That'll be a hard push, I reckon. I think I'll die out before that happens. Okay, I think I'm gonna transcend because I don't wanna waste. I say waste, but it'd be a slow grind for like probably an extra half an hour or more just to get these extra stages um, to, to transcend and level up my relics or get new relics would be much quicker much quicker use of time so yeah i'm gonna transcend uh, again using my crystals to double bubble to get double um arcanas <coughs> that's what i'm saving up all my crystals for i want to save all my crystals and just use it on the divine transcend so i'm keep pixie in there and do you want to swap that? I'm going to swap him out for her. Start. Give me my tokens. Thank you. That's what we've got this time. Got a rune. Always go for that extra spin if you can. Awesome, thank you. And we're going to start all over again. Pleasure doing business with you. Bash. Let's see. Um, I'm going to level up to level two, and then I'm going to get a new mask. Which one should I go for? Uh, spark drop HP HP plus uh, three. Void Wraith Warp Distance. I will go for that. Uh, team fire damage, boss damage, damage versus boss. I'll go for that actually. I need some. That would help clearing up those little uh, pushes. Uh, I've got 14 left. I'm going to do a couple level twos. Guardian or not. Level 
look what runes we've got. Oh, I've got a mask, but that was weaker, so we can get rid of that. Sure. That was it. Runes. A couple of fusions. I'm not going to fuse in them because they're currently equipped. So I'm only going to fuse fuse the ones that people are not equipped because otherwise if I fuse them, that will get to level 2, but that person will have no equipment, no rune equipped, which would be good. Uh, this is a bit different because it's it's not being used, so it's fine. Uh, so look, is there any other ones we can link together? Not really, so we leave that for now. Uh, now it's back to the grind. So I've got to make sure I get back to stage 90 as a minimum to get the Phantom Bandit. And then uh, push more to get to 115 to get the that special relic. And I'll probably hopefully push a bit more. But it seems to be in about 10 or 20 stages per prestige some people um i know i know some comment below some people take uh basically take the time and push even more you can do that um, i'm just basically my theory is spending an extra half an hour to get 10 more stages when you can spend that on a new run is i don't know if that's beneficial so spending like i don't know 10 20 minutes just gain an extra 10 stages i think it'd be more beneficial to do a new run because you could probably over a space of a couple hours you probably could squeeze in one or two more runs worth more relics um so arcanas then you could do if you just push harder and harder i don't know i don't know if that's the best best method that's just what i do i i tend to transcend uh, lots and lots and lots and also for a second reason that i've got a, a goal to transcend full time to get that award anyway so but that's my method of madness but uh, if you like the video um like subscribe hit that bell notification hope you enjoy the series and hope you're doing well you're smashing it on your stages if you are let me know in the comment below we're chatting about it in discord so join the discord with the Masketeer teams and i'll keep you updated with any updates news about and anything that's changed or, or tips and tricks so as soon as i do know about skill builds or any masks techniques or anything like that i will launch the video so this would be the channel to go to for your Masketeer help but so if you like that, uh, yeah, follow me and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.